Hi guys, Lady Random here and welcome back to Sky Factory 3. Okay, we've got quite a bit uh, that we're going to try and get done today. Not the epic fail of trying to get things done like we did last week. So uh, let's crack on. So we left off last week. We were getting blaze rods to get our ender chest. Um, so let's get this built. So we want the ender chest, the white one. So the wall, the obsidian, blaze rods, end pearl chest. You know it there we go so we want to actually link our ender pouch to this ender chest so we should be right with um white 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 so we'll just pop this down uh, i'm going to actually attach it to here because i do want this to actually feed into the system so that at the moment yet yeah, we can see we've got the chicken manure blocks and that's what we've got in the ender pouch so that is good to know so we do want um, actually to try and get this to feed into I think probably into the interface actually and I've got a feeling I don't know whether this is actually gonna break or not it doesn't matter if it does because we can just make another one quite easily perfect now I wonder whether we can actually get this to connect and whether we have to connect it to I'm gonna put it where do I want to put it so we need to have an interface off of this I think which is making me think maybe what we should do is actually put this let's put it down here so we'll put that there and then we need probably it's the is it the external storage i think it's called and i think i've actually got the stuff to build that so yeah the external storage so that's the construction core destruction core quartz enriched iron uh two chests cable improved processors so we have made this before so um, you can always look back to one of the previous videos in order to get the how to's from that so i wonder whether we actually need to attach that to this maybe in order for it to work hmm maybe maybe not let's just see if we can attach it to the front if we take this panel out okay that's not going to make it particularly easy is it but let's get some cable And see whether we can connect it in I wonder actually whether it might be better that we take this out here again hopefully it'll come back to us there we go maybe put our chest down first in this gap here like so and I wonder whether we can actually get the interface this might be a little bit of a, a pain to do uh, might be better off actually doing it from down here why didn't I think of that before let's get the interface off of the back of this is that going to let us reach it okay and then a bit more cable maybe to join that up is that joined okay so is that now interfacing with this it kind of is but it's not doing what i wanted it to so let's have a look i don't want it in white list don't in blacklist we just want it to basically extract only. Uh, no redstone signal. Hmm. Okay, 
So that's not doing what I wanted it to do. So we need to get it to actually talk to this. Now can we use just an old item conduit? I wonder. I've got a feeling I kind of remember that these don't connect. Yeah, they don't connect, do they? So how how do we get this to talk to the controller? Is it just cable? Like so? Because we want it to pull in, don't we? Maybe it's the interface that we need to connect to. Hmm. So we've got the storage interface. We want it to actually pull from that, don't we? Hmm. How are we going to get this to talk? And actually be a source of power. Well, not power, a source of, uh, of items, I wonder. Because it's not... If we put it on the front there, will it pull through? So that's importing there, isn't it? weird see that um try putting it next to it god that's slow to break isn't it but yeah we expect that anyway okay let's put these bits back together again so clearly if we can just take some of these out and whether we get a gap and whether it does actually start pulling this in so if we maybe go like so like so will that start pulling it Possibly not looking at that. Okay, well, fact of the matter is, we do now have the chest. I'm gonna. Oh, do you know what? I wonder whether we can put it on top of the. Uh... You see, this is under IO, isn't it? Whether. We attach it to here and let's go up the top here and we'll set that to pull. So that's pulling. But is that going to put it? That's working quite nicely. This isn't so much, is it? Hmm. Should it be push? So that's push. set another channel maybe so receive from that oh hello well that's kind of not what we wanted to happen is it here so 
So we're trying to pull from there. Into this. And then we are pushing into that. Is that what we're trying to do? You know what? I really don't know. Let's just take all of this out for the moment. So that's just gathering stuff now, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Not really doing what I'd intended it to. That's just filling up with all kinds of crap, isn't it? don't want it sending stuff never mind let's come back to that but on the plus side we know effectively these are linked now not in the way I wanted it to be though let's just do one more check on the IO so we don't want to pull from the front I want that none and here We want that to be pushing, I think. So let's just take this lot out of there. See, this is still receiving stuff, isn't it? Oh my god, what's going on? Is it kind of acting a bit like a buffer, maybe? See, look, it's still just taking stuff into here, isn't it? Right. That's not working. That is not working for me. So, yeah, it's a nice idea. But let's... none to that as well we'll just let that get on and what we'll do is we'll basically we'll just pop we'll just pop it down um let's just put it just next to here and then all we'll do is just transfer it in manually i think because i don't think we can we can do it any other way because there's no io on this and obviously no I, I, I on that so that's fine it just means that we've got, got to somewhere we can transfer from if we need to or we can just keep stuff randomly in there so yeah we still need to probably do a little bit of work on that because it's not quite working you said something I heard that did you hear that weird these weird noises okay so we've done that. Now let's go back down to our Empowerer um, that we were working on last week. I've rebuilt the platform. Uh, so everything should now be the right distance from each other. So we're now going to try to make our greenhouse glass. So with our palace crystal block. So... So let's go for the empowered palace crystal block. Let's just refresh our memory on how to do this. So cyan dye, prismarine shards, palace crystal block, like so. So in theory, we put that there. And it's one of those there. And then one, two, three. There we go. Look at that. That is now working as it should do. So yeah, the problem we had was that we didn't actually have anything set to the right distance. Now it's, see, it's using a fair bit of power. So it is depleting, but it's it's not depleting so quickly that it's actually a cause for concern. I'm not sure how long it's going to take for each of these and whether it actually takes at 800. Does it actually tell us? There we go. So that is our 
empowered palace crystal block so we need uh did we take that back by yeah there we go so that's the empowered one so let's go again same again one one of you one two three so it kind of reminds me a little bit of um filmcraft and like the infusion altar that it actually sort of uses up these items but at least we know that we're not going to kind of plow through all of our um all of our uh, rf just by doing this so that does take a little while so i will carry on doing these and i'll come back to you once we've done them all see you in a sec There we go. We are all done. So it means we can now go up and we can get on and make our greenhouse glass. Um, kind of thinking about it. Let's do it while we're down here. Uh, greenhouse glass, like so. So we need, I think we've got the saplings. Have we got everything we need? No, we are missing items. We are missing the saplings. So we are going to have to do that upstairs. But that's fine. What we'll do is we'll just throw everything into uh, the refined storage system and we'll just craft it internally. I think I think that would be that would be preferable. I have to remember to take that pan back downstairs though. Uh, so greenhouse glass. Boom. That's three of those. Uh -huh. Let's bung that in there. And then it's our growth crystal, isn't it? That we're making our tier two growth crystal. So in theory, we should have the growth accelerators in there. We've got greenhouse glass. We've got a normal growth crystal and we've got the fertilized dirt. So boom, there we go. Finally, we have our tier two growth crystal. So why don't we pop in here? I've actually had this switched off just to to get it back up to power again but what we will do is we'll actually swap swap these out now Ooh, there we go so that's the tier two i'm going to turn this back on again and we'll let that start i'm going to give it a little bit of a little bit of a helping hand in uh, harvesting here just so it doesn't take too long and we can try and get a bit of an idea of how quickly uh, this is actually helping them grow let's have a look and see so you can see like the uh, little runes that are flying in there are happening it's almost a denser cloud yeah you see look stuff is starting to grow relatively quickly so it's almost like it's doing little nine by nine sections 
at a time so hopefully this will help a lot yeah you see it's happening an awful lot more quickly so it's saying 0% at the moment but there's actually sort of signs of stuff actually happening so hopefully this will this will start to speed up sort of some of this a little bit more which will be good and very helpful obviously so that is that done which is cool so we can now put those back into there so that's good so we've covered um covered our greenhouse glass it wanted to do and we've got our tier two growth crystal which is awesome so there was one other thing that we did get and it was something we got in the loot bag which was the end of tether which is this thing here now you can hear i've had endermen all over the place i'm not quite sure i think these ones are below me but i want to try to keep them from being all over the base because quite frankly it's a pain in the backside when you're busy and you're having to dodge looking at them and what i'm hoping is that what we can actually do is get them to kind of spawn into here so i'm kind of thinking if we are able to put that here in theory what that should do is keep them spawning to here so oh hello mr cave spider um, but yeah the theory is is that actually what we should be doing is getting the the enderman actually into here and holding them in here rather than them being all over the base i think that's kind of how it works let's have a quick ender tether so yeah, it doesn't really tell us but i'm pretty sure that it is to to actually tie enderman to an area so hopefully that is, is what it's going to do oh got a nice collection of bags again which is good and with the skeleton skull we're up to 26 again already which is brilliant so uh, yeah this is working really quite well so it's giving us a chance to kind of carry on uh getting our witherproof blocks ready for building our little wither area so i'm hoping now that we should let's just throw these hobbits into here we should be able to have i just thrown away my i have haven't i my mattock i think you can come back thank you very much um yeah hopefully it'll mean that oh look at that yeah there we go look we are getting we are getting much better growth on that so no that's cool so that will help immensely with uh, with gathering that and look we've got another palace crystal block that we actually left lurking around down there as well which was a bit stupid but that's cool we'll just just gather that back and we'll uh, we'll put that in a special place when we get upstairs it's like not like we need it again anytime soon now the other thing i was trying to do was actually to um you might have noticed on my screen um that i was actually looking at trying to make uh manila man manilin manilin yeah well this stuff the purple stuff um because i actually want to make a decent pick i also want to get silk touch um, because I want to actually take up this stuff, the mycelium, without actually losing it. So I was trying to make that. And there is a way you can actually get chickens. And for those chickens, you need Ardite and Cobalt chickens. So your Ardite, Ardite chicken is Golden Lava chickens, which should be fairly easy to do. And your Cobalt chicken is, if we can actually find this again... Cobalt chicken is nether wart and ghast here. So I've been working on trying to breed um, ghast tier chickens. So I have my my nether wart and my let's just whiz over here, shall we? Oh, it's fine. Random things, yeah. So I've been trying to breed breed these two. I'm trying to see if we actually get ourselves a ghast tier chicken at the moment we've been failing miserably um actually for completely forgot completely forgot my oh well it's fine you're gonna die anyway there we go 
Um, yes, my net. I need my net. There we go. So we can start fishing them out. So yeah, there's a few random blaze and bone white chickens have been running around and yet another blaze chicken. Oops. No, you can go back in there. It's you. Oh well. You I need. So we'll give it a couple of goes and just see whether we can uh, we can breed a ghast tier chicken. It would be nice. Go on, you know you want to do it for me. What do we got? Another bone white chicken. Oh, the frustration. Come on, let me pick you up. Put you out here with all of your friends. So not too bad with these. Cool down. 16 seconds, 17 seconds. Let's get rid of... Get rid of these adult ones. I tend not to kill off the babies, just because... Come back. Because we actually get to... Get a bit of resources and some opportunity for the old loot bags etc with these ones that's going to get really old really quickly isn't it can you hear it dang it easy uh where are we readable readable come on give us a ghast tier chicken no we've got another blaze chicken but yeah this is this is kind of how it carried on i have managed to breed let's just call that quits for the time being because it's just doing my head and it takes so long i have managed to breed if i can actually find it uh i have a yellorium chicken and that was fairly uh well fairly annoying actually so the uh where are you yellorium chicken egg which is no not you this one here yeah so that was a glowstone chicken and an enderpole chicken eventually we got our yellow chicken and that took absolutely freaking ages to do it took so long it was untrue wow we've got a bit of a backup again haven't we? let's put them into here i think this is the problem we've got a huge a huge backlog haven't we but uh, yeah that took a considerable amount of time um to actually get those bread. Come on, you can do it for me. Another blaze chicken. Rah. Come on. Pick up. You. Go back. Go. You. You can die. As rude as it sounds, but you know, that is the way it is. But uh, yeah, that was. Uh, Oh, so much fun. So, yeah, I've started off. I've got a couple of... Well, I've got a Yellowroom chicken. Now, we've got a 6-10-10. Is that what we ended up with here? I think it might have been, wasn't it? So, we might have to still breed these. Breed these out. I wonder why we've got a 6-10-10. It must have been just... I've... No, so... Yeah, I was... no, it's tier 6, isn't it? A 10-10-10. Mm -hmm. I can read. Um, but, yeah, that just means that we've got... Yellurium, should we decide that we're going to move into extreme reactors as a source of fuel for uh, for later on? Because to be fair, you know we're doing we're doing okay. You know we're just about managing the fuel levels that we've got with uh, with the power source. I've actually, and I don't know whether you notice, I've actually extended uh, the chest for the wood, and I've actually turned that into a diamond chest now. Let's stick these in here. Let's just put these away for the moment. Uh, ooh, my ring needs powering. It never sounds good, does it? Never sounds good. But, uh, let's stick that in. Get that. Get that charged up because that's actually running a little bit low. But uh, yeah, I've swapped out the wood here for uh, a diamond chest, which does mean it makes a big difference to the amount of wood that we can actually store so actually we do with grabbing some logs now while we can yeah that's got full again already isn't it oopsie 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, and this is how I've spent my life. Let's grab those bits, stick those into there. And let's make ourselves some planks. Get the fuel going, because that is going to be a problem. It's almost like I want to break that chest. I really want to break that chest right now. And just kill everything that's roaming around inside it. And I think the frustrating part is, is that stuff spawns in there because it's dark. However... Take it easy. Come back. Um, however, you can't put a torch down in there. And you have to have it hollow. Oh, done it again. What are we like? So yeah, so you have to have a hollow hollow bit which means that you can't put torches down which means that stuff sort of grows in there and it's all very noisy and that's where all of these very annoying noises keep coming from which is to be fair driving me up the freaking wall most of the time very nearly there at least this will keep this going for a little bit longer but I've been playing for a couple of hours and I stopped the chest up so it's actually lasted Last of a couple of hours while I've been doing doing a bit of grinding. So, you know, that's not so bad. So I can come along and fill that up again. But, uh, of course, we've had to charge these back up. Um, obviously, this is draining quite a bit. There we go. That's back up to full power again, which will hopefully start this increasing. Yes, excellent. So that is where we are. So I think we've pretty much covered everything, surprisingly, that I wanted to do. And we've done it. We've done it in uh, we've done it in enough time. I'm hoping that we actually are still managing to uh, to actually catch all of this because my thing has just flashed up. So I've got not got enough disc, disc space. So I think what we'll do is we will call it an episode at this point. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we shall see you in the next one. Take care.